Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gubar. Today has been an awfully busy day. Buckle up because Valve, after months of silence, finally launched a huge Counter-Strike 2 update. But before that, here's my partner Skin Baron. A skin marketplace based in Germany where you pay on average 30% less than on the Steam markets. You can sell skins for real money, which you can withdraw through bank transfer. Everything about this site is friendly, intuitive, even the selling system is just super easy to use. And of course, find some hot deals on the front page. Check the link down below to visit Skin Baron my sponsor for this video. This update is packed with so much stuff and also surprises. Let's start with the thing they teased us about over on Twitter. The buy menu and loadout system has been completely revamped. CS2 will now have a fixed loadout of 15 weapons per match. You'll need to choose 5 pistols, 5 mid-tier weapons, and 5 rifles for each side. Yes, this finally means that you're about to see some M4A4 and M4A1 silencer loadouts. This one finally cracks the code. Adding to the drama, they've swiped the page from Valorant's playbook and totally changed the buy menu. It now displays the weapons you chose in your loadouts into one single view. But wait, there's another Valorant-like feature, the ability to sell back items within the buy time. Finally! For those who've cried over missed time purchases, it's your time to shine. And if you still miss buying with the numbers, you can still do that as well. It seems the CS2 team has decided to play catch up with the cool kids, but they're turning out to be the bullies. And as you can see by now, the classic Dust 2, the only one you could previously play, is replaced by none other than Mirage. My first impressions of the map is that it looks very bright and vibrant compared to the old one, and I'm not even boosting the saturation on this footage. The lighting in some areas is also noticeably different. Details on the walls and buildings look different, a bit sharper I would call it. I think the contrast between the palm trees and everything else is beautiful. The reflections inside Palace are also gorgeous. It's like a cleaning company went to the map and dusted it off after so many years. I like the new aesthetics, and most importantly, it will work better for competitive play. By the way, here's the new sounding FAMAS that they also tweeted about. Next up, Valve has introduced Counter-Strike 2's workshop tools, downloadable directly from the game's settings menu. Good ol' Hammer, the map maker tool, now requires a GPU capable of ray tracing. But oh, it also supposedly speeds up compile times, which is even more exciting. Moving on, existing CSGO items on the Steam community market can now be inspected in CS2. This helps evaluate certain items for the future of the franchise. Another big portion of this update is how they've tinkered with Subtick, and especially especially the movement. According to Valve, it's more precise and less floaty. Releasing movement keys should now perfectly convey their sub-tick timing. Personally, it does feel different, especially with different jumps. Like it almost looks like it's skipping frames to try to accommodate the sub-tick system, and it feels a bit strange. This doesn't feel like 128 tick either, it's just something else, hard to explain. Do I like it? Mmm, I need to get used to it. And apparently the top player of a triple stack can now shoot, I didn't know this was an issue. Moving on to the smoke, the devs have decided to channel their inner artist and improve lighting and rendering when smoke overlaps multiple distinctly lit regions. And hold your applause because shotguns can now create larger holes in smoke volumes. This practically buffs them and gives them a better use. Animation tweaks are also on the menu. They differentiated between jumping into the air and running off a ledge to allow for separate character motions. Makes sense because we're on Mirage and there are two ladders. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of jankiness to the animation that they can possibly tweak. As for sound, your footsteps are now predicted on the client for a latency independent experience. But I'm assuming Valve knows what's up and I feel like this makes a lot of sense. Apparently rendering has seen improvements as well. Performance and responsiveness in windowed and full screen window modes have been boosted. I didn't use any of those in the past so I can't confirm anything, but just reading about it seems very positive. But something even more positive and very surprising is how they're saying that something broke when multiple commands were bound to one key, so they fixed that bug. Which means, multi-binds are actually back, yay! I was worried that Valve would limit our ability to multi-bind to kind of streamline the game and its future, but this brings tears to my eyes. And last but not least, the notorious VAC. It will now live ban and terminate matches gracefully at the end of the round, unless it was the last round and the cheater lost. The match won't affect anyone's rank, and players not lobbied with the VAC ban player will earn XP for the match. There you have it. CS2's update is jam-packed with features. Sadly, and so far, I haven't heard of anyone new getting into this update of the game, which makes me curious if they're ever going to add new people during its limited test. Which would be really sad for the players who were hoping to join. I'll update you on Twitter if I know anything new about it. Anyway, what's your take on this update? And how long it took for them to release it? Are you excited for the future? Let me know down below. Peace.